In this lesson, we are going to cover using text lists to make text dynamic in WinCC Unified. I have the tool screen open from the previous lesson. I'm going to copy and paste our momentary push button. And place it right below the previous momentary push button. I'm going to look at the events tab. On the press event, there is a set bit and tag, and on the release event, there's reset bit and tag that is going to toggle our bool tag underscore one. So we are going to use this tag to pick a text message out of a text list. I'm going to go to the properties of the momentary push button, and I'm going to look at the text property. Right now, there is a static value that is called momentary. I'm going to go to the dynamization column and select none. In the drop down list here, I am going to select resource list. When I select resource list, I'm going to need to fill in a tag value that is going to be used to pick a text message out of a text list. And then I will also have to fill in the resource list slash text list that contains all of our text list entries. I'm going to go to the project tree and open up the text and graphics list area. In the upper right hand corner, the text list tab is selected. So there are a number of predefined text lists that are included. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and find the add new entry. I'm going to double click on add new. And I'm going to give my text list a name. It's going to be called off underscore on. And it's going to be called off underscore on underscore list. I am going to select that text list, and then down in the middle window here under the text list entries, I'm going to select Add New. I can enter in a range of values here, or I can enter in single values. We are going to be just working with a Boolean value, so I'm just going to use single values. So I will type in 0, and then click on Add New, and it auto increments to 1. So I have two entries in this text list. I have a value 0, a value of 1, and then I can assign a text message that is going to be assigned to each one of those values. So for 0, I will type in off. For 1, I will type in on. So this is my text list off underscore on underscore list that has two text entries in. I'm going to go back to the tools screen. And then with the momentary button selected, and then the resource list selection for dynamization, I'm going to fill in the tag value. So I will select my HMI demo tags folder and pick the bool tag one and select it. For the resource list area, I will select the off underscore on list. I do see a preview of the two values that are in that list. I will accept it. So now during runtime, when the bool tag underscore one is zero, the text off will be displayed on the push button. When the bool tag underscore one is one, then the value of on will be displayed on the push button. Next, I'm going to go to the elements area and I'm going to select an object that is called the symbolic IO field and drag that out onto the screen. The symbolic I.O. field can be used as an input or an output to display values from a text list. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the miscellaneous category of properties and look for the mode entry. So the mode property right now it's an input output. I am going to change this from input output to be output only. So then this symbolic I.O. field will be used just to display text messages. It will not be used for an input. I'm going to go up to the general properties, and there's going to be a process value. So I'm going to select none and pick tag. This is going to be the tag used to pick the text list entries out of a text list. So I will select our bool tag one and accept that. For the resource list area, I'm going to click in the static value column. The far dropdown on the right hand side 
is used to be able to select the type of list, whether it's a text list or a graphics list. We're going to be using text list. And then I will select the actual text list. And it is going to be the off underscore on list and accept it. I'm going to change a few properties of the symbolic IO field. The first one is going to be the size of the font. So I'm going to change that to B19. And I am going to center the text in the symbolic IO field. So now this symbolic IO field during runtime will either display off or on based on the value of the bool tag one. Another option for displaying dynamic text is if I select my text and graphics list area and then look in the details view, I can select my off underscore on list and drag that out onto the screen. I will change the font size to make it consistent, so I will pick 19. So this is a text box object. And there is a resource list that is assigned to it. So this was the off underscore on. So when I drag the resource list out on the screen from the details view, it automatically assigned it to the text list object. I do have to select the tag value that's going to pick the value out of the list. So I will pick bool tag underscore one and accept that entry. I'm going to just change one more appearance attribute here. So I will go to the appearance area and I will change the border width. Now I will select my HMI in the project tree and start my simulation. I am going to select the runtime values and uncheck keep current user administration data and select load. Now I will start the Chrome browser and log into the runtime system. I will log in as admin and enter in my password HMI12345 and sign in. I will select my tool screen and I will press and hold the momentary push button and you can see the momentary button text change from off to on. When I take my finger off, it goes to off. You can also see the symbolic IO field as well as the text box object change their states as well based on toggling the value of the momentary button. In this lesson, we covered using text lists to make text dynamic in WinCC Unified.